Yep, I've got my dirty clothes on. We're about to get dirtier. Oh. So we're back in the garage again. We're working on the Samurai today. Today is one thing that we needed to do a long time ago and I've had the parts sitting around. I just never did it. Well, it's finally time. We need to make some clearance for our front drive shaft. That front cross member is holding it up and now our front drive shaft is too short because of the rears up front. So we're gonna knock out both those things right now and then hopefully the next time we go out crawling, it's just gonna work way better and we can get that full droop out of the passenger side and our front drive shaft isn't gonna slip out. There is the spacer on our transfer case side. It's dark under here, it's hard to see, but see the front drive shaft is really close to this front cross member. And then down here on our front drive shaft, you can see got a bunch of playing it because there's not a lot of spline left on this drive shaft. One thing that's good about the setup is you can see it's in a pretty straight line actually. There isn't a lot of angle on this front U-joint connection and there really isn't on this other side either. So for now, I feel comfortable just putting another spacer right here to get us some of this spline back. It's definitely not the right way to do it. We do need to get a new drive shaft in the future. We're just under a time crunch right now, and we're going to miss some events if we don't get something worked out for this. Otherwise, if we run it like this, and this passenger side drops, the drive shaft is just gonna slip out. This is our biggest issue right here. It actually doesn't look as bad on camera for some reason, but that is really close to the cross member. You can see some marks on the drive shaft right there. It is contacting when the passenger side droops down. So that's what we're gonna do today. We've gotta cut this piece out. Uh, there's a bolt right here that we need to access. There's a bunch of metal up here that we need to clean up. But basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut it right here. We're going to cut it right here and we're gonna put that big drop bracket in there to give us some more room for this drive shaft to move. This is half inch steel that's bent to shape and you can see it's got the little cut out there so you can still access the bolt. This thing is super beefy and it's pretty clean but what I'm gonna do is take a flap wheel and just smooth up these edges and get them nice and bare. Same here just so we can get some good contacts for welding this thing on but we should get a ton of clearance off of this. Got the exhaust strapped to the side to kind of get it out of the way up here. Now's the time to do our close quarters welding. Gonna put some stitches right there, 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 and then one on this outside right here. Well, we got a little bit more light under here now. So we've got it all welded up right there. Welds, not the prettiest. Put my skills with the test doing this upside down. Fat welds over there. Yeah, definitely not the best stuff. It's time to move on to the front drive shaft now. All right, here's our spacer. This is from Trail Gear. This is a one and a half inch spacer. So this is a pretty big one. Got our new hardware. And then here is our new spacer. Long field, throw it in there. There it is, new spacer installed. Huge gap right here for our drive shaft to drop down when we need it to. And there's the new look at our gap for the drive shaft. Tons of room now. Get some extra beef to take some hits with or get us hung up on some rocks right here. Feels good to have that one done. Not a really glorious modification or install. Um, kind of one of those just things we need to work behind the scenes. But like I said, I do not recommend the spacers. I really just don't like using them at all. The leverage on the bolts alone, because the, the bolts are so much longer, I think they have a tendency to come loose easier and kind of warble out those holes. Also, depending on how your drive shaft angles are, that leverage both on the pinion and the output of the transfer case, that's not good for either one of them. So hopefully this will just be a temporary thing for me. Um, I know the spacers work for a lot of people. I'm hoping it works for me until I get a new drive shaft. I'm just trying to not put too much money into this drivetrain how it is right now because coming up, um, hopefully this year, I'm, I've got to work it into the schedule and the budget to get those Toyota axles built up and then, you know, 
I'm hopefully going to run a Toyota uh, drive shaft and U joint. I don't know. We'll see. I got to talk to some guys and see what they're using. I know some guys are still using the Samurai stuff, but those U joints really small. The Toyota ones are really popular, and I know they're actually like super strong for how small they are. So, anyways, guys, thanks for checking out the video. If you have any questions about this install, put them down in the comments. If I screwed something up or you want to make fun of my welds, definitely put that down in the comments because they were not pretty this time. See you guys in the next one.